So, welcome back. Today's Monday for me. All this foam is dry. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to cut the foam down. And then we're going to square these two holes up, one on each side, and put some drive on there and get it foamed up or get it mugged up. Cool. Let's get started on this, man. Well, this just keeps getting funner. That shark, that uh, shut off valve is a shark bite. It's one piece shut off valve and water line. You can't take the water line off. It's like some sort of a press fitting. Yeah, you can't get that out. Yeah, it's. You can't unscrew it. I'm afraid to. It looks like it's a screw in, but I'm not going to take the chance of busting it. So I'm just going to have to cut a bigger hole in order to get this down and on there. Good times, man. Good times. I could cut a square, slide it down on there, and then just mud in the bottom. That's probably what I'll do. I'll just cut a groove in the drywall, and uh, good times. Good times. Cool. Let's do that then.
seed good. Good enough for now. I go ahead and hit it with a second coat of mud and uh, let it sit overnight. And we'll go from there. Cool. <laughs> That's one way of getting it empty. Ooh, got everything disconnected. Water heater is empty, but I can't get it out. These water lines are the mains for upstairs. I'm going to have to cut them all off, relocate them behind the water heater because the new water heater is one inch bigger. So the drain line for condensation is going to have to be rerouted, cut it off, push it back, you know, fold it down. So I'm going to have to shove everything back because I can't even get this water heater out. It won't, it won't come back past these water lines. So project for tomorrow. You want to praise God.